This episode is sponsored by Bayer and PPG. And you might be saying like, okay, that's a bunch of dots. This is yeah. how many weeks of 18-year-old child. And at the end of that last dot is when she's no longer a child and she's an adult. And all those dots filled in are the weeks that I've spent with her so far and how many I have left. And wow. the reason why I wanted to kind of like start off the conversation on this is that this is what's most important. Some people get lost in the money thing, like oh, a multi-million dollar business, you know, I, I'm not money motivated. I am not either, but I'm time motivated. And the yeah. reason why, you know, sometimes I just want, I don't, I want to make sure that the map to a million message doesn't get misconstrued or lost. Million dollar business, who cares? If you can build a business that fits your why, which to me is spending as much time and being at home with my family these weeks of the year and maximizing that. I mean, if you look at this, if, if you're only spending vacations with your kids during summer, I have four summers left with my daughter. That's like terrifying. And we're almost at the end of one of those summers. So um, no matter where you want to go, the purpose of me teaching this is not, hey, everyone needs to have a multi-million dollar business. It's to identify what stage of business growth you're in right now and how to get more time, no matter what stage you're in. So as we go through this, hopefully it gets you some clarity on like where you want to go and what your why is and where maybe you might be stuck right now and saying like, ah, that's what I need to do in the next step to remove myself more from the business and have more time. So that's like the ultimate currency I wanted to describe to make sure that yeah. everyone's, on, everyone's on board with that. Absolutely. Cool. So um, the concept I want to introduce everyone to, first of all, the reason why I actually call it MAP to a million, it's a play on words. Uh, MAPS is the four departments that every service business must have systemized, automated in order to remove yourself completely from the business. Marketing all the inbound leads, admin, scheduling, dispatching, payroll, you know, all of that stuff, production, everything to do with, you know, swinging the hammer, painting the stuff, brushing everything, the vehicles, the inventory, the people. And then the sales is obviously converting all those marketing leads into actual jobs. Now, some people say marketing sales are the same thing. They're not. It's like two completely right. different types of uh, skill sets and departments that are needed, especially in the painting industry. Um, so these are those four departments that we're going to talk about. And the reason why I kind of have these breaking out is that depending on where you are in the cycle of your business growth, you have to focus all of your efforts into systemizing like one of these areas. And so as I kind of walk through these five stages of business, you'll notice that I use these maps, uh, departments, uh, plus one more that's called the executive department. This is you as CEO, you're above all these four departments. You're the strategist, you're the budget guy, you're the financial guy. You're trying to figure out how to put the, you know, the, you're, you're playing chess, not checkers. You know, you're, right. you're trying to look at the next move and kind of get those things together. So the five right. stages of business are named well, after. If I could jump in, um, yeah, you know, part of, part of being a, a contractor, you know, is it's knowing the succession at what stage do you focus on each one at, at you know for me i know that that my journey um i, I don't want to say that i did it wrong but i did it in a way that ultimately made me unhappy because yeah. because i took all of those things and i talk about this all the time on the show so people are gonna they're gonna know that i talk that you know they're gonna remember but i took the thing that i knew how to do the best which was painting mm -hmm. and i built a system and then I hired painters. Yes. And then the thing that I understood the next, the thing that I needed to understand, you know, next was the sales because mm -hmm. we had enough stuff coming in and I had to get really good at that. Yes. And then I delegated that because I created a system and then, yes. I, and then I jumped into marketing and then yes. I got a system for that and I handed that off and then I was left with the finances and I went to art school. So I am not, a finance guy and so all that was left was this thing that i didn't know how to do mm -hmm. and this thing that i just really hated and and i didn't and i didn't like my my life at that point mm -hmm.